on commodities market updates, we're looking at uh, instant noodles, a staple mostly consumed by the younger generation that constitute at least 60% of Nigeria's population. The price of noodles in the market has spiked by 66% to 3,000 naira per carton of 70 gram in the last 12 months compared to alternative food uh, commodities like rice, uh, which was up 3.4 percent, and Gary was up by about 13.8 percent. Well, let's talk to Favor Gurai now, uh, analyst at Financial Derivatives Company. Great to have you, Favor. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so we see the price of uh, noodles is up about 66 percent. That's uh, quite a surge. What do you think is causing this uh, rapid rise in price? Could it be because it's, it's mostly consumed by uh, the, the the youths? Um, yes, I agree with you that um, major parts of like noodles is majorly accepted by the younger generation. And like you said, this younger generation accounts for about 60% of the Nigerian population. And that itself is increasing as well. So yes, it will fuel the demand for um, noodles and eventually the price. But the major increase in price I've seen now is really not due to that. And you know, one of the major highlights of 2021 is the global commodities boom. So the price of a lot of commodities went up due to many reasons, which were majorly COVID-induced. And that was really the case for the raw materials used to produce noodles. So I'm talking about wheat and um, palm oil. And if you look at the price trend of wheat, you see that pre-pandemic, the price of wheat has never crossed the 600000 um, six sorry, six hundred dollars per bushel, and but now it's about seven hundred and seventy-five um, dollars, and that's about twenty-five percent increase, and that's a similar case as well for palm oil. I think it has increased by a similar percentage as well. And you know, in addition to that, you also see that noodles manufacturers here in Nigeria also have to deal with the exchange rate pass-through effect, and that as because we need to import these um, raw materials, so that in or like aggregate of all these things gave rise to like the increase in the price of noodles that we're seeing now. All right, and you know, Nigeria is estimated to spend over $2 billion uh, annually on wheat importation. And you know, the CBN plans to spend $41.2 billion to achieve uh, self-sufficiency. You know, given this, you know, long, the long uh, t uh, time frame to achieve this, uh, is, is it actually, you know, realistic? to see uh, that we're actually, you know, we can sustain wheat production in Nigeria? Um, so CBN's goal is to win off 35% um, of wheat importation. And if you do a little math, 25, 35% sorry, of the wheat imported here in Nigeria is about 1.75 million metric tons. And that would mean that Nigeria's local production of wheat has to increase by about 2,000, I think 800% to match that because we currently produce about 60,000 metric tons. And for me, I think that's quite, and they want to achieve that in the first year. And I think that's quite ambitious. I mean, yes, it is a good initiative because they're also dispersing, you know, high yield um, seeds to this farmers, which actually go a long way. But then you also have to consider that, you know, wheat is a, it has so many, it's a multi-purpose commodity. It has so many, it has like competing uses. And then you also have other structural issues in the ecosystem. One, small, um, Small farm, um, small farmers have to do with you know the headsman crisis, and also wheat cultivation is common in the northern region, which is the hotspot for insecurity. And then you have to deal with logistics and the storage of things as well. So I think the bottom line is it will take a longer period for us to see the desired impact, and even a higher you know even um, CBN might even have to spend more than that. Have to spend more. Well, uh, with. 1.92 million servings as of May 2020. Nigeria is among the top 15 consumers of uh, noodles globally, according to a World Instant Noodles Association. Is it possible that, you know, it's because of the spike in prices and, you know, consumers switching to other alternatives, uh, the reasons why uh, Nigeria is not ranked higher? So Nigeria has actually maintained that position, that the, has maintained the 11th position for five years now. That's from like 2016 to 2020. And if you see within that period, the price of noodles has pretty much been stable. So that should, in fact, even fuel demand and, and 
push up our ranking, but that's not the case. And so it really, it's, we can't say that the price increase we are seeing now is the reason why we are not, you know, ranked higher. And then if you look at the um, countries that are that maintain the top 10 positions, for example, China, you know, one of the factors swelling and, and helping them maintain that position is one population and also culture itself. All right, Favor, um, which one is your favorite, noodles or spaghetti? Well, I don't know. <laughs> noodles, I see. Noodles. Okay, I guess you like it fast. All right, Favor, Mariah, thank you so much. Uh, Anna is a financial uh, derivatives company. Always great to talk to you. Thank you very much.